Hello everyone and welcome to your Tuesday Maths lesson. Now today we're going to be continuing looking at time okay, and converting the time from the analog clock onto a digital clock. Okay. Now yesterday we looked at telling the time when the minute hand was on the 3, 6, 9 and 12. Okay, So when it's at the o'clock, quarter past, half past and quarter two. Okay, but today we're just going to focus on half of the clock. Okay, now our clock we've broken down into two parts. We've got the past side, which is numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've got the two side. Okay, where we are counting down to the next hour. Right. So remember, this is our an analog clock where we've got our two hands, our hour hand, which is our smaller hand, this red hand here. Okay, that tells us what hour we are in, and then also our minute hands. Okay, this tells us how many minutes we have gone into that hour. Okay, the big hand here, the blue hand. Now remember, my digital time is something which you might see on your grown-up's phone, and it looks something like this with our digits. So here we'd have 2.30, and that would be half past two. But we'll move on to that later on. So, to start us off with, okay, Looking at just this past side, we know from yesterday that the time on my clock at the moment is six o'clock, okay? And we know that because the hour hand is pointing to the six and the big hand is pointing to the 12. We know when it's pointing to the 12, it's o'clock, the start of a brand new hour. Now, I would write that at, in digital clock, okay, by doing something like this, where I've got, I write my hour first, now remember, my hour is six, because that's what my small hand is pointing to, so it'd be six, how many minutes have I gone into my six? Zero, because it's the start of a brand new hour, okay, fantastic, so, now, remember from yesterday, every time the minute hand gets to another number, it takes five minutes, we're going to be adding on five minutes every time. So I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, okay? So it takes, adds on an extra five minutes for each number we go to. So if I put it back to six o'clock, okay, remember, we're just looking at the past side today. So if I want to tell the time when my minute hand gets to the one, okay, I would write that down as a digital time, Okay, by looking at my hour first, remember my hour is my small hand, my small hand is on the six, therefore it's going to be uh, six in my hour column, and then in my minutes column, how many minutes have I gone in to that hour? Let's count. Five, oh, there we go, we've run five minutes in. Now, in our minutes section, we wouldn't just write Five, we have to write zero five because there needs to be two digits in our minutes section. Okay, so that would be five past six. Okay, now I'm going to move it on to when my minute hand now moves on to the two. Okay, now remember my hour has stayed exactly the same. Okay, so my hour is still six. So I'm just going to write that down on my whiteboard. So my hour is still six. Now, how many minutes have I gone into this hour? Remember we're on zero here, and we're adding on five for every time we go on to a number. So we're on zero, and five, 10. So in my minute section on my digital clock, I need to write 10, okay? Now we would say that as 10 past six, okay? Because I am 10 minutes past six o'clock. Remember, we're on the past side, so it's past six. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit trickier now. Okay, let's speed on the time a little bit and we'll go to here, okay? Now, our minute hand is on the three. Our hour hand is on the eight. So remember, our first thing we're going to write down is our hour. Now, our, my hour hand was on the eight. So on my digital clock, I'm going to write down eight. And now here's a tricky bit. This is where we need to know our five times table. Okay. We need to see how many minutes we're, we are in 
to the eighth hour. Okay, so here we're on zero, five, 10, 15. So it, we are 15 minutes into the hour. So I'd write 15 in the minute section. Okay, so we show that as 8.15. Now we want to, might want to say that as quarter past eight. Okay, like following on from yesterday when we got to the three stop, we show it as quarter past. Okay, so this one would be quarter past eight. Now, if I was to move my minute hand down to the four now, okay, if I was to move it down to the four, let's see what time this would be on a digital clock. So, Remember, we do our hour time first, okay? So what number is the hour hand pointing to? Okay, look, it's a small hand, it's pointing to the eight, okay? So my hour is still on eight, okay? And my minute hand is on the four. Now we wouldn't write eight four, okay, remember? Because every time the minute hand gets to a number, it's adding on five minutes, so, here we're at zero, we've gone five, 10, 15, 20. So we're 20 minutes into the hour. So in my minute section, I would write 20. So I would write 8.20 like that, so it shows it as 20 past eight. Okay, now let's make it slightly trickier again. Let's move on to another hour. So let's spin the clock round and stop there. Okay, right, so. Remember, I'm converting it from my analog clock down to my digital time. So, remember, the first thing I need to work out is what hour I am on. So, let's have a look. My hour hand is my smaller hand. Now, you'll notice it's not quite on the two, but it's not on the three either. Now, in this case, okay, we always go to the number before, because it hasn't reached a three yet, okay? And I'll tell you a little bit more about that tomorrow. But we haven't reached a three, so we're still on the second hour, okay? So um, my first part on my digital clock, I write down the hour, so I'm in the second hour. So it's two. Now I need to work out how many minutes I'm into that. Now remember, we are adding on five minutes for every time the minute hand goes past each number. So we start here at zero. So this would be five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes past two. So in my minute section on my digital clock, I would simply write down 25. So I've got two 25 or 25 minutes past two, okay? Fantastic. Now we've just got one more number to cover on our past side, okay? And that is when it gets to six. Now, if you remember from yesterday, Okay, we should know what time this should be. So let's move it on. Remember, it's gonna take five minutes to get there. Okay, for every time we move on to a number. So, again, I look at the hour. What's my hour? It's still on the two, okay, because we're not yet at the three, we're in the middle. Okay, so we're halfway between two o'clock and three o'clock. So it's halfway between two and three, but we are still in the second hour. So I've got two, I write down two in my hour section. And then minutes wise, I'm looking to see how many minutes I've gone past two o'clock. So let's have a look. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, okay? I'm 30 minutes into my second hour. So I would write down 30 in the minute section and you can see it's 2.30, or we might want to say that's half past two. Now, hopefully guys, this is giving you a bit of insight on how to attack the worksheet today. Okay, remember if you're still a little bit stuck, not quite too sure, look back through this video, pause it in certain places. You know, you might wanna say it out loud so you can make sure it's really stuck in your mind and ready for you to go ahead with the worksheet. Okay, all the best of luck guys.